Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you are all okay. I'm Stephen from Fragile Sister ID, and today I want to talk about a Canadian brand. It's Zoologist. If you ever heard about this brand before, that's good, because I love this brand so much. But with its big repertoire, it's kind of hard uh, to pick up the perfumes that actually safe, especially for a first timer. You don't want to blind buy this perfume and then end up with Hyrex. The one, even though it has a very cute little creature in the level, but it's actually uh, very, very fierce. It can be in your face. So in this video, I would like to share with you all the five zoologist perfume that actually safe for a blind buy or maybe for a first timer, the ones that don't contain menu note or something barnyard-ish. So if you're here for that, stay tuned. So if you like to try Zoologist for the first time or maybe you are you want to blind buy this perfume. There are five perfumes that I'd like to recommend you to sniff or to try or to buy. The first perfume that you can actually blind buy from this brand is Hummingbird. Hummingbird is a very pretty perfume. Yes, it actually leans a bit on the feminine side. For me, Hummingbird is um, heavy on lilac and honey and then it combines lilac and honey with lily of the valley and mimosa it creates a purple feeling it creates a very floral musky and very smooth very tender and gentle scent and this is my second love uh, from zoologist you know because my first one uh, was panda but it's uh, 2017 panda and then the second one that i had was this it's, it's a very pretty scent uh, for you to have and it's very safe by and by. It can, um, you can wear this one to go to work and to go to soiree or something. So if you are looking for something brave, something warm, something emberry, this is not it. And then the second one, makak. Makak smells like um, being in a garden of bamboo like in i don't i don't remember the place but there's a bamboo forest in japan that i ever went to so it smells like that with the addition of acidity from the citrus it smells like a fruit uh, and you're eating orange in the bamboo forest actually there are three versions of makak this one, the original one that I have, and then they have two more, the Yuzu one and Fuji Apple. The three of them are very good. However, this one, compared to Hummingbird, this one is more zesty, uh, more green, and it's a bit more on the fruity side. So, um, for me, Makak has this Zen aspect because the bamboo forest association that I told you about and it serves the level well because as you see the makak wearing like Japanese kimono and this is a very unisex so if you're asking uh, whether this one can be worn by a guy yes this is one this one is very unisex and so uh, so are the yuzu and the fuji apple ones makak is a very safe scent to have and you can wear it uh, to the office you can wear it on holiday and like hummingbird i don't think this one is sexy however this scent mm, uh, this is the kind of scent that energizes you uh, it energizes me i know and maybe you can wear this um, to go to the gym uh, to do some workout yeah you get the drill the third zoologist perfume that is safe for you to buy safe for you to sniff and doesn't have any barnyard-ish <laughs> notes like i said before this is my first zoologist this is panda 
This is the 2017 edition. So it has been reformulated uh, from the first edition. This one actually, for me, it's a, uh, it's, it's a tea set. With makak, you're eating orange or fruit in the bamboo forest and with panda, you're actually sipping tea in the same bamboo forest. The bamboo notes in panda is quite prominent and I, I'm not really sure but uh, some of my friends actually uh, feel that panda is a bit too earthy, a bit too dirty. However, in my opinion, it gives a necessary earthy feeling, a dirty feeling to make a tea scent. I think Panda is a good perfume to have and it performs very well. And even though it's not loud like Bakara or something, uh, it's not room feeling, but people can notice you wearing Panda from like one, one meter and then it stays on it stays on your clothes, it stays on your skin. I went to work at 8 and then returned at 4.30 in the evening and it stays there. The smell stays on my clothes and on my skin. So Panda is a good contender if you're looking for a tea scent that lasts. The fourth one is Mott. So basically, moth is a gothic scent for me, just like the picture on the label, the moth, and the juice itself is black. And uh, this one is quite sexy, but in a creepy way, in a sex, uh, in a gothic way, in a horror way. So if you're looking for something sweet, incensey, and then it can take you uh, to a to an old church you find it a bit uh, dark a bit mystical moth is a very very wonderful incense scent so if you're looking for something to wear uh, for your date or in the night then you want to be a bit sexy you want to be a bit mysterious uh, moth is your answer of course there are others like a uh, camel or maybe if you're a guy um, you can wear rhinoceros, however, moth is very unisex then and it can be worn by both guys and girls. Moth contains honey, incense, and then uh, it has a bit of cinnamon on it. But for me, the most prominent note is incense. Uh, it's a bit sweet and that's why I really associate moth, moths with, with an old church that is inhabited by a vampire <laughs> so try it um, the smells is more wonderful than how I describe it this one is very safe for you to try this is number four mod and the last one that I'd like to recommend you to try from zoologist is cow so this one is quite new it just released in 2022 and this one, um, when it came out, I remember that I was afraid that it would contain many notes because, well, basically it's the smell of cow. I know how zoologists interpret T-Rex and then Hyrex, Camel, Beaver, and then Squid. And well, when they announced that there will be a cow, so I was like, Okay, I needed to prepare myself because it's gonna be a bit barnyard-ish. However, when it came out and then I bought it, I find that this is a wonderful perfume and it has no menu notes whatsoever. It doesn't have ambergris or anything like that. Basically, this is a very green and lactonic scent that reminds me of a pasture. So, uh, when you first smell it, you got the smell of apple, green apple, and then slowly it transforms into the smell of grass, and and that's why uh, that's why they name it cow, and they add lactonic aspect, uh, milky aspect to this scent. They are trying to capture a pasture where a cow is 
eating grass and that's why I also got this association with Alpen Alpen uh, uh, mountain and this is a very very pretty sand and look at, at the cow it's very very cute and this one also quite unisex but it's leaning on the feminine side it's still unisex I think guys can wear this uh, very very properly and yeah I'm quite surprised with how wearable this really is so I have shared with you all the five perfumes from Zoologist brand that you can actually blind buy yes you can actually blind blind buy them the first one is hummingbird and then the second one is macaque and yeah uh, there are two more macaque variants uh, they are Yuzu and Fuji Apple, the three of them all are good. And then the third one is Panda. The fourth one is Mott. And the last is Cow. So, of yeah. course, this list is a very subjective list. You can add yours uh, on the comment below. And maybe you like um, Camel. Or maybe you like uh, koala and that's okay uh, but on in my opinion these five are the safest I would like to add dragonfly to this list however the old formula of dragonfly has been replaced with a new one and I don't know if you can get the old formula of dragonfly in store and I haven't sniffed the new formula that's why I don't put dragonfly in this list so I think that's all guys Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow our IG at fragalysis.id and leave your comment below. Maybe you can turn your bell and then uh, you can get any update from us if we post new videos. So that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.